In this video, we're gonna be talking about some direct editing tools. Now, direct editing tools allow you to grab a model in its current state and just make modifications to it. You don't have to go back through the history tree and figure out where a feature was originally created. Now, a lot of times going back to the history tree and finding the original sketch that created that feature and modifying that is a better way to do it. But sometimes you get a model that's sent to you, you're not familiar with it, you have a whole bunch of things you need to change or modify on it, uh, or maybe it's a dumb solid like a step file or an IGES file or something like that that doesn't have a tree. You're just bringing in a solid and you need to make modifications to it. Direct editing tools allow you to do exactly that. So. Under the model tab, under part tools, you have this little drop down here. You've got move face, offset face, remove face, and remove model pieces. So a bunch of different options. So let's start with the very first one here, move face, right? So move face is pretty straightforward. If you want to make this tub a little bit taller, for instance, right? I could go back and find here and figure out what the extrusion was, how far we extruded it, change that value. Or you can just come over here and just like choose the top surface and say, hey, let's make this thing like two inches taller. Um, and, you know, and the preview shows it. it's just going to extend those surfaces up and notice it already has draft and everything right so it's just continuing that surface and keeping the draft keeping everything the same and click on apply and just that easily you're able to quickly modify your design so these are kind of quick modifications to existing parts right so if i close out of that one i'll show you the next one here not move face we want the drop down here which can be offset the face right so offsetting uh, is is common as well, right? So if you want to make something a little bit bigger, if you want to push that surface in or out, you can do that. So over here, if I choose like a, a surface here and I said, well, my value, I want to make it two inches, uh, that's going to make it very similar to the move face, right? But it's offsetting. But you can also like just make something bigger by selecting like all the faces, right? So I'm offsetting all these faces here to get to that shape. Apply it and there you have it, right? So pretty straightforward there. Um, <clears throat> remove face is another one that's really handy, right? So what if you have like a hole, right? And this hole here, you say, hey, you know what? I wanna just get rid of that, that hole. I'm gonna remove the face, click on apply, and it's gone, right? So you can just quickly remove individual surfaces like that or half your part, you know, whatever whatever is involved, you can just do that quickly with the remove face tool. And then the last one I wanna show you here is remove model pieces. So if you have a multiple, if you have multiple bodies inside of your model and you say, hey, you know what? I don't really like this little re rectangle over here. Let's just get rid of it. Just click it and take it out. So you can make a bunch of different pieces and things that maybe are kind of helper parts or surfaces, things like that. Uh, and if you're not using those other parts, you can just delete them. So it's pretty handy. So those are kind of your direct editing tools. They're real powerful. They're definitely great for imported geometry like step files, IGES files, things like that, parasolids. Um, but they're also great for if you're down through a model and you're working on something, you need to just get rid of a hole or move a face real quick. Uh, they definitely really help out and make it easy to do.